Like, most of these kids, they're 12. Even the ones who say they're flipping, like, if you talk to them, they really don't know what they're doing. They don't know what stuff's worth. They're just throwing money at things and hoping it comes back. So you're like a sneaker reseller? I don't like that word. It's okay. he, he's a sneaker reseller. Yeah. What's going on everybody? Andrew from The Fun Grows here and if you've been watching the channel for a while you know that we are very very much into sneakers and streetwear and we have been for a very long time. However, you know in recent years the game has changed and clothes and sneakers are more expensive than they've ever been. So a question that a lot of people have wondered over the years is how are all these hype beasts paying for all their clothes? I mean what kind of jobs are they working? Is it money that their parents gave them? Are they hustling for it? Are they trading up for it? Are they stealing it? So we are here today to find out how all these hype beasts here are paying for their stuff. Let's see what we find out. What's going on everybody? I hope you're enjoying that video from Complex Con, man. It's hilarious, so keep watching. But I gotta tell you that this video is sponsored by Dashlane. Dashlane is a desktop and mobile app that is giving you shortcuts to everything you do online. So on any device you own, you can log on instantly, breeze through forms, breeze through checkouts. I mean, it's just gonna make life a whole lot easier. And definitely also keep watching if you wanna find out more about getting a discount at the link down below. But you know what? Watch the rest of this video because it's hilarious. Yo, what's going on, everybody? I'm here with... I love Kid Cudi! And Dre. Can you break down your outfit? What are you wearing right now? And uh, should I ask how much it costs? We got the Chanel earrings. That was like $400. Chanel purse with champagne hardware. That was $5,000. Got the Chanel Pharrell's resale for about $5,000. $5,000. Off-white, these are the flies. These are like 400 tops. I got the Pleasures hoodie. This one's like 80 bucks tops. Got the Levi's denim jacket. It was about 60 bucks. Plain uh, Nike t-shirt. It was about 30. We got the All-Star ones. About uh, 250. So I got a Burberry t-shirt here. Probably like 400 bucks. All right, and then I got some Bape pants. Yeah, probably like two, dollars $300. Nike Dunk Jedis. Resale right now is like 800 to 1000 All right, uh, Rude Lessons collab, 300 The Heineken SBs right now, probably like 2K. Woo! Now, in all honesty, this was all given to me, so I don't even know how much it costs. <laughs> I got the off-white uh, jumpsuit. I got it for Christmas. I don't really know how much it costs. How much might it cost? Man? 800 The off-white ones. I paid 1200 maybe for them, which is like very good deal. Yeah, they probably go for 4500 re uh, resale right now. Gucci slides like 215 retail. This I got for Christmas, maybe like 350 I don't have much on this, but I have Chrome Hearts bracelet here. This is like two grand. Bill Wall ring custom. This is seven grand. And Tiffany, so four fifty. And then this is just a Bill Wall piece for seven fifty. Chrome Hearts pendant, which was eight. And then I have this, which is two grand. So you went light on the outfit, but heavy on the chains, there, buddy. Dang. All right. This is Martin Rose. It was six hundred. Dior shoes. I don't think I need to name the price. If you want the honest truth, the sweatshirt, Forever Twenty One, oh. and the shorts. Same thing. Keep hearing, collab. My, my little ones made it. They drew it in for me. $14.99. The rest is priceless. I'm representing my family, really. Oh, I got the real exclusive Forever 21 fit all the way down. You feel me? Uh, Off-white hoodie from the Seeing Things collection. $700, $750. I got some Balenciagas. I think the total will be around $2K. k The h and m jacket. I got a Supreme shirt, which is too big. Stone Island pants. And then I got the uh, Supreme dunks on. How much are the dunks? Too much. That is hand <laughs> You just said that's uh yeah, I think it was like a 10. Uh, these are the sample yellow toe versions, so they're not the release pair. So I don't know. Bear on stock X for 13,000. I would maybe six, seven, eight, nine, I don't know, 10. Listen, everybody, I gotta tell you the rest about Dashlane, okay? If you're somebody like me who's constantly shopping, constantly traveling in random places, this is the life hack you need. If you're on the move, you can use Dashlane to sync all your credit cards, travel documents, and passport information between devices, and book tickets easily by auto-filling everything from your address to your frequent flyer numbers. The built-in VPN allows you to access the content you want, when you want, wherever you are. I'm talking about international, random Wi-Fi, anywhere and when you're shopping it can fill out addresses and payment details in just one click and the autofill allows you to never miss another time sensitive drop again i cannot stress to you enough how this app can make your online life way more efficient flexible and secure i feel better using it 
Plus, your info is encrypted and stored safely so that even Dashlane doesn't have access to it. So if you are interested in a free 30-day trial, definitely go click on dashlane.com slash fungbros. Or if you want to use 10% off of Dashlane Premium, use the fungbros code down below. That's F-U-N-G-B-R-O-S. Guys, check it out. Remember, wherever you are, whatever you want to buy, wherever you're traveling, and whatever Wi-Fi you're on, Dashlane is there to make your life easier. So definitely check it out. All right, guys, now enjoy the rest of that Hypebeast video. How do you get money for your gear, man? Where's the money come from? My brother plugs me because, you know, he's been doing this since his middle school days, so he gets me right. Most of my jewelry is from my uncle and my dad. And then, uh, yeah, my dad owns a couple of businesses, and so does my uncle, so. My parents sponsor me. <laughs> Shout out to your parents for for my um, hype stuff, yeah. Mainly the parents, I make a little bit of money on my side and then buy resale and then get the money back, so we good. Uh, my parents mostly, yeah, they give me all this stuff, yeah. Shout out to the bro though, he got him the tea. These little bros right now, yeah. they're not working for the clothes yet. No, not yet. What do you think about that when you got your little bros and they're dripped out? Middle ground, you know, I, when I was, you know, growing up, I didn't have brothers and sisters, I'm the oldest. So, you know, I try to keep them fresh, you know, I got them the kicks and everything. But I say, at the same time, you know, hustle. I just go to work and I just hustle. Certain things I buy, I keep, and some, most of the things I buy, I sell. A regular nine to five office job selling health insurance. What's up, health insurance is paying for it. So I'm a teacher. For me, it's really difficult to really get to that point of nice shoes and things like that so I really had to work a little different. I sell ads for Honda. YouTube helps a lot. I have a day job too. I'm one of those rare people that have a day job and do YouTube so I have a little bit more play time. I'm a business owner. You own a restaurant? Yeah. What kind of restaurant is it? It's Thai. For me I'm a supervisor of coffee bean. I just hustle 40 hours a week just trying to save money. You get your money from? I can't say that. Oh he don't want to tell you. All right. If I actually work for Nike I'm not a reseller. I sell things um, to get money. Can you say what things? Oh no, <laughs> not, not like I'm not Walter White. Chill, chill. Sneakers and shit like that. Okay, so you're like a sneaker reseller. I don't like that word. It's okay. he, he's a sneaker reseller. Yeah, I resell shoes and clothing, but my parents sometimes, you know, they kind of they reward me sometimes. So yeah. I'm a registered nurse. Shout out to all the nurses out there. We hey. saving lives. Saving lives, but not saving money. No. I'm also a registered nurse. I actually work with this guy. Right now, I do sneaker consignment. I quit my day job because desk jobs are boring. So uh, it's good money. Work at Paxson, so I cop a lot of fear of God. I'm not, I'm not the crazy big spender, but you know, I do buy clothes when I do get my paychecks. How far have you gone? to get something that you wanted, just any story that you've heard. One time I wanted to buy like an ambush necklace. Didn't get it, went to Japan, tried to get a friend in Korea to get it, and then finally went to China and found it there. His parents actually gave him a quarter million dollars by accident. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He just spends it all. Yeah. What does he buy? Gucci, Balenciaga. Slid on this girl to go get some free J's. <laughs> All right, everybody, we are here at the Hot Ones and Boba Guys booth. We're here with Ben, one of the founders of Boba Guys. We had to take a break from interviewing people, but please break down what's going on right now. This swing is the last dab, and we created a drink that's a mix of horchata, Milo, and everything in there is there to put out fires. Air to go first. <laughs> Delicious wing, by the way. I feel it creeping, David. <laughs> when you eat something so hot, when you eat something so hot, you're like, oh, whoa, okay, it's creeping now. It's like between a cinnamon toast crunch and a uh, Milo. All right, you guys, that was Ben from Boba Guys. That was the Hot Ones Boba Guys Challenge here at ComplexCon 2019. We out. Do you think like all the rich kids who are just getting money from their parents and buying all the hype gear, do you think that's kind of messing up the game? What are you guys' thoughts on that? Hey man, if you got it, why not? I can't knock them for having it, for uh, for flaunting it. A little hype beast gonna be a little hype beast, you know? If you got it, you got it. At the same time, you gotta realize, you know, I'm lucky. They should appreciate the place that they're in. Oh, absolutely. By sharing mommy and daddy's wealth. Break us off, little hype beast, break us off. Hey, what's happening, what's happening? It's good for me if I'm reselling to you guys. Up the price a little bit because your parents can afford it. <laughs> you got the parent money price and then you got the regular price. Exactly, there you go. If we know you're rich, we're gonna charge you the high. Well, I think the people that are true with the game are those that work hard for their money, not those 14-year-old boys. Obviously, their parents give them the money, but I don't think that anything's wrong with that, you know? But I do respect the people that do work hard for their money. My kids ain't getting <laughs> If they're gonna ask me for like $1,000 sneakers, they gotta work for it. Smart of them. I guess, you know, try to live <laughs> off of them for as long as you possibly can because I didn't do that. I wish I did, but you know. Salute to the kids out there grinding to get that money by any means necessary, whether they were born rich or born poor. 
They out here grinding, so I got I got to salute them for that, man. I mean, I don't bash anybody for getting their money however they want to get it. Kudos to them if that's how they get it. Their parents love them, like, that's good for them. Like, most of these kids, they're 12. Even the ones who say they're flipping, like, if you talk to them, they really don't know what they're doing. They don't know what stuff's worth. They're just throwing money at things and hoping it comes back. Even though we don't really work, this is like, it's good habits to like control your money and it really gets you ready for like your life uh, up ahead, you know? I mean, it's not that big of a deal. Like if your parents give you with something like, all right, like it's, it's cool, it's whatever. I see where they're coming from, but like that's our parents' money. They can do what they, I don't really know. I... It's just not fair. <laughs> I think these kids need to work, get a part-time job, work and do what they can. We worked hard to get our stuff, our gear and you'll appreciate your gear more if you work for it. I don't really care. If you got money, if your parents got money, like, take it. Hey, well, you're one that would benefit from them, actually. If they use it to express themselves, then I think that's dope. Expressing yourself is an important thing, but if they just buying it or buy it just to, you know, fit in or whatever, it's not. Nah. I'm part Filipino. I grew up in a very traditional Asian household, and you had to earn your money. People just don't know the value of money these days, and they're just throwing it out. And if you throw it out for your kid, like, he's not going to appreciate the culture either. I mean, it ain't bad, you feel me? Your parents got it like that. I drip my son, too. I'll be ready to rob him. I ain't even gonna stunt. I'll be ready, but you know what I'm saying? Out the old Chris, back in the day, I probably would've robbed him. You feel me? One piece of advice for people trying to get in the game, get some gear, but they, they don't have that much money. It's not how much you pay, it's how you wear it. If you feel good, then anyone would think you look good. If you work for it, you'll get it. You will get it. Don't worry. I think your style is the right style. I say, like, you know, work hard and, like, find clothes that's best for you, because what's best for everyone else may not be best for you. Humble yourself, I guess you could say that. That's that's the only thing that's gonna push you further. I get like a hundred dollar pair of shoes, trade it for like a two hundred dollar pair of shoes. Trade that to a four hundred dollar pair of shoes. You don't have to rock what everyone's rocking, just rock what you like. If you get knocked down, you gotta get right back up. You gotta take a L, but um, if you take two L's, it makes a W. Play a different game, man, and just uh, invest in a Roth IRA instead. Honestly, way better investment. That's the old man answer. <laughs> All right, everybody, thank you so much for watching that video at ComplexCon, man. It was actually really fun. The energy was great. These are my major takeaways. If you're a young hype beast with expensive clothes, it seems like most people agree or can assume that you got the money from your parents, which there is nothing wrong with that. If your family got it, then you got it. However, just because you're part of the economy, it doesn't mean that you're part of the culture. And I felt like that was something that people really, really wanted to stress. Know what you're wearing, have a story about it, make it meaningful and express yourself. Another question is like, if there's so much hype now and sneakers are easily a thousand dollars, sweaters are easily a thousand dollars, does it only keep going up? Is there a bubble? Is it gonna pop? So leave a comment down below because I want to hear your thoughts. All right, guys, I got a unique link down below for Dashlane. Shout out to them for sponsoring this video. And that was Andrew from the Fun Bros. I'm live at ComplexCon. Until next time, we out. Peace. Woo! What do you do to get all the, to get the gear? Oh, I can't afford it. No, I, I just don't have the money. It's all, I'm in debt, hugely in debt. No, YouTube.